Good morning. I'm going to be reading a scripture that's uh, probably very familiar to many of you. Some of you even might know it by heart. Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. He says, This is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily bread and forget, forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We studied this morning in class about grace, and we were studying about the prodigal son. And I was thinking about what is grace. We celebrate grace every week when we celebrate the Lord's Supper. The best definition I've ever heard of grace is God's riches at Christ's expense. We receive God's riches at Christ's expense. It is a gift from our Heavenly Father. I recall my earthly father giving me a gift at the age of 10. It was my 10th birthday. And he gave me a shiny new bicycle. And it had a lot of chrome and it had a banana seat. And I was oh so happy. But you know what happened? I got tired of that bike. And uh, after a while, I asked my dad, they come out with three speeds now. Can I, can I buy a three speed? I was going to buy it with my own money. I didn't realize it, but I was insulting my father. My older siblings, I being the youngest of nine, didn't receive a new bike. And they were outraged that I was not happy with this bike that he had given me. He said nothing, said, okay, it's your money, buy your bike, and I bought the bike. In essence, I was telling him, your gift is not good enough. I want a better one. Let me buy a better one. We can do the same thing with our Heavenly Father. How do we do that? If we say, I don't need your grace, I don't want your grace, we reject his, gra his gift. If we say, your grace isn't good enough, it's your grace plus my works that will get me into heaven, we say, your grace is not enough, we insult him. If we say, I will accept your grace, but I will not give grace to others, we insult him. Jesus says, forgive us our debts. Forgive us our sins as we forget, forgive others who sin against us. Let us not reject God's gift. Let's not insult him. Let's receive his gift Let's share it with others. And by that, we honor Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Let's go to our Father in prayer. 